Hey there everybody, this is Caitlin here and welcome the, to this slightly late edition of Spoilers for Force of Will. We are getting quite close to the release of Ancient Nights actually, so I'm not quite sure how much longer we'll have until the whole set is spoiled. There's been some speculation that maybe in the next couple of days the whole set will be spoiled. They are saying that maybe it will be spoiled before pre-release this weekend and whatnot, so not too sure considering the size of the set there are a lot more cards than usual so i would be surprised if we actually managed to get through every single card through the spoilers so there will probably still be a couple of surprises even um before the release and whatnot so going into today we have some more support for looks of it for um specifically rhea for the darkness starter deck although i think there are some cards that could work definitely outside of rhea depending on your taste and whatnot. So first up, we have Black Blood Knight, which is quite a little bit of an alliteration there, but I quite like it. It has a three cost resonator. It is two darkness and one void. An 800-800 vampire, who's wielding some kind of nice looking sword machete thing. It's kind of only got one half, so it makes me think it looks more like a machete, but um, it is very nice. Basically, it's got this effect where whenever this card deals damage, you gain that much life. A pretty simple effect. We've seen this a couple of times before in a couple of different resonators and whatnot. So it's a pretty simple effect. It's one that, you you know, whenever he deals damage. So it can be to a resonator. It can be to your opponent. It doesn't have to specifically target something for that damage. It's like you gain that much life. So... Every time he swings, you will essentially get at least 800 life as long as you deal the damage, unless you're maybe going to buff him up and whatnot, which um, I think in Rhea, like in Darkness, there's not... I can't really think of anything that buffs specifically for Darkness or whatever, so... Um, like, I'm meaning like spells and whatnot. I know that um, Alucard buffs vampires and whatnot, but there's no... I can't really think of any spells that, like, strengthen it, so maybe you might want to mix in another colour or whatever, so you can get a couple of buffs, but... It's blood flows only for combat. Hmm. He's also got some really weird looking bloody eyes and some kind of markings coming out of them, which is looking quite spooky. Next up, we have another fairy tale. We have the three evil little pigs, which, um, quite, quite a strange image that brings up there. I mean, it was, but we've not really seen the three little pigs, I believe, in Forcible at all, if I'm correct, because, um, we, ha we had like little Red Riding Hood and whatnot, but, and we had the Big Bad Wolf, but I don't think we ever had the Three Little Pigs. So seeing them evil um, and actually cooking the Big Bad Wolf in the background there, you can see him literally like crying out in anguish in the fireplace there. It seems a little bit a little bit sinister, but it is a five cost resonator. It's two darkness and three void, so quite expensive, even though it's only a 400 or 400, but when this card enters the field, you put a 400 or 400 darkness pig resonator token with when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, it deals 400 damage to your opponent. And a 400 400 darkness pig resonator token with when this card is put into a graveyard from the field, you gain 400 life into the field. So essentially, for the cost of five, you're getting uh, three resonators, all with 400 400, um, two of which have different effects. So basically, as long as, say, your opponent doesn't have something like Abdul or something that stops inner effect, you will get those two pig counters. And I'm gonna guess that, um, or pig tokens rather, I'm gonna guess that obviously um, in sets, whatever, that introduce no tokens or whatever, there's usually at least, um, you're, you're more than likely to at least maybe pull one or two of those tokens in your packs within your box, because normally within a box, you get at least one of each token. Since both these tokens have different effects, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna include them maybe either in the box, they're gonna be either be in the packs or they're gonna be like separate in the box similar to the magic stones or whatnot i'm not too sure how they'll work it because obviously tokens are different from regular resonator cards and whatnot so i'm not too sure how they're going to work in the tokens but um providing that obviously the inner effect doesn't get um cancelled and whatnot you can get these two extra resonators so i'm guessing they would have to be two different tokens because they've got two different effects unless you need to differentiate between one has this effect and the other one has got the other effect so hopefully they've not got the same card art or whatever. Usually the tokens have different card art on each side, so you can at least differentiate which one is which. So that is quite handy. They were born the same, but they won't die the same. Hmm. I suppose that's a reference to how those two different uh, tokens do different effects whenever they die. So that's really interesting. I quite like this card art here. I feel so bad for the big bad wolf in the background. It's just, he looks so torment. He looks so tormented. It's like so sad, these evil little pigs. But next up we have Dark Riding Hood, which is a three drop resonator. She is um, three darkness, 700, 800. She got kind of like spoiled on the pack art for, um, there was a little preview for the box or whatever, the new box design and the pack art whatever was revealed as well. And on the pack art, it looked like there was an evil red riding hood on it so this time we have dark red riding hood so 
I think I'm just going to call her Hoodie because she's evil and whatnot. So I'm just going to nickname her Hoodie because um, that's going to be my little pet name for her. This card gains whatever this card deals damage to a Resonator, destroy the Resonator as long as your life is 2,000 or less. This card gains swiftness as long as your life is 1,000 or less. When this card enters the field, you may remove two mystery counters from your J Ruler if you do remove a target Resonator from the game. And whenever this card attacks, it deals 200 damage to a target player or Resonator. You gain 200 life. So for three cost, it has a hell of a lot of effects, whatever that it can do. It has up to like... Four different effects, which is insane. It's an SR, obviously, and because the card pool is a lot bigger, your likelihood of getting play sets of, like, say, SRs, because obviously they're a lot harder to pull and whatnot, will be a little bit harder, because there's more cards, so obviously it'll be harder to pull the rarer variations of them. So it will be quite interesting to see how many... Um, people will be able to pull out of a box and whatnot. But she's really interesting. I like it. Kind of, she seems to have a kind of a nice design. She, as far as I can tell, she is just basically looking the same as um, OG uh, Red Riding Hood and whatnot, just with like a darker colour palette, like, with the black and the red instead, and her eyes are different. Her hair colour doesn't even look that different. I think she's got like some black and red streaks other than that. She doesn't look too different, but very, very interesting. Um, a fairy tale bound and written in blood. Hmm, very, very interesting. I wonder what she's got to do with Rhea and whatnot. Maybe Rhea's the one that summoned them? I'm not too sure. Next up, we have a chant. It's a three-cost chant called Wolstrain. I wonder what that's a reference to. It's one darkness and two avoid. Put three 300-300 darkness beast slash wolf resonator tokens with swiftness and precision into the field. At the next end of turn, remove them from the game. So, this is obviously, it's not quite cast, sadly. So, you can only play this on your turn. But... For three, well, you are technically getting three resonators, all with swiftness and precision, which is kind of quite, it's quite nice. And obviously, if your opponent doesn't have any blockers or whatever, this would be actually kind of interesting. So, um, the way I can think of this is maybe you force your opponent to block with some things that you know are going to die, so that um, so they basically clear up their own board. And then once they've cleared up their own board, you're like, cool. I've now got these three things that are going to attack for essentially nine hundred, which um is quite decent it's a shame that they get removed from the game um at the end of the turn but at the same time i'm just thinking oh man this is more tokens that we can have like more awesome wolf beast tokens i'm, I'm kind of curious i mean there might be like a way to um obviously they get removed from the game so trying to keep them on the field would be a little bit difficult but i could see a way you could maybe try and recycle wolf strain and whatnot or find a way to get it back into your hand and just like spam for days all the wolves whatnot a little bit of darkness wolf rush that would be pretty neat Next up, we have another chant. It's a mystery chant. It's Blood Spray. It is a two-cost chant. It is two black. You basically draw two cards, and this card deals 300 damage to you. So essentially, for doing 300 damage to yourself, you can get two cards, which is also really good, because usually black doesn't get too much card draw. Um, card draw is usually specifically just designated to uh, blue and green. And you can pay the Awakening cost, which is remove a mystery counter from your J-Ruler, destroy a target resonator with total cost two or less. So just for removing one counter, I feel like is like quite a good payoff for being able to use that Awakening. I just feel like so far for... Um, Rhea in particular, there are not a lot of um, cards or whatever that put mystery counters on her. It seems to be that a lot of the time they're like, oh hey, remove a mystery counter if you want to use the Awakening. But it's like, yeah, but we don't really have many means to put mystery counters on Rhea in the first place other than tapping her. I can't remember too many other cards that actually put mystery counters on her. So maybe getting those counters on her will be a little bit difficult, but at the same time it's just like, hmm, I'm not too sure. Rhea's blood turns as sharp as a blade in the light of the moon. And this card art is actually a really, really nice. It's um, I'm really, really digging it. Next up, we have another gorgeous card. We have an SR chant. We have Vitality Drain, which is a quick cast five cost. It's two um, darkness and three avoid. It is a very, 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 very nice. Um, it has a quick cast, obviously. Target player loses 1,000 life. You gain 1,000 life. It has an awakening. Again, remove a mystery counter from your J Ruler. This card gains, or J slash Ruler. This card deals 1,000 damage to target Resonator, which, whew, it is an expensive card. But at the same time, it's just like, hey, you are dealing 1,000 life. Like, that is sometimes that, like, it, people were like, oh, your life count or whatever, blah, blah, blah. It's like, meh. But at the crucial point where you have in at least five will, it is actually quite a good play. And also, you're gaining life at the same time. So it's a couple of these spells we've seen or whatever, they make you lose life and whatnot. So actually, this is quite a good play to use. And also, you're only removing one counter and you're dealing 1,000 damage to a resonator, which, considering that 1,000 damage is a lot, um, not many of these resonators I believe we've seen for Rhea so far are as strong. I think the strongest we've seen so far 
were 800s, 800s, or 900s, 900s. I can't remember if there's been a resonator yet for Rhea specifically that has um, anything higher than that. There may have been, but I can't really remember. But I really like this card. I think it's really neat. Also, the card art is just gorgeous. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. Just, oh, I want this in full art, but trying to get full arts of SRs now is probably going to be so hard. Life flows like water from the weak to the strong. Rhea, the fourth daughter of the Makage, says. And then this card art is also actually really adorable. Like, I don't know why. What is up with this card art? It's just like, oh my goodness, we've got on point for a lot of card art in this set so far. Like, it is just gorgeous. Truth amongst darkness is what this chant is called. It is a three drop. It is two, uh, two void and one darkness. It has remnant. Feels like we haven't seen Remnant very much in this set. Look at target's opponent. Look at target opponent's hand and choose a card. They remove that card from the game. So it's like I see. I feel like because obviously we've lost Lapis's Dark Storm, uh, we still have um, Scorn of Dark Alice, obviously, and we still have um, Dark Mist. So I feel like this is like their way of getting a bit more um, discard or whatever from your opponent into the game. The only problem I have with this is that obviously it's quite expensive compared to Scorn of Dark Alice and. Um, um, darkness, which are a lot more direct in choosing. Obviously, your opponent gets to... Uh, actually, no, you get to choose the card or whatever. So, your opponent usually gets to choose... Um Actually, no, he cho like, your opponent chooses it with Dark Storm, which is out of rotation now, so don't you worry about that. You get to choose the Resonator for Alice's, uh, Dark Alice's Scorn, and then for Dark and Mist, I believe you get to choose... It's like either a spell or it's an addition. It's not a Resonator anyway, but... um. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting. I feel like because it's expensive, it's like maybe not worth it. But at the same time, it's like this card art is so gorgeous. I really want to use this card. It's like so fair. Sorry, I can't let you know our plans just yet, says Hoodie, looking so innocent with her. For some reason, her eyes are green in this art, but in the other artwork, her eyes look kind of orangey red. What is going on here? Are you truly dark? I'm not too sure. And then finally, we have a... Our, uh, another quick cast chant, Lethal Arrow, which kind of seems like it's working with um, Freyla more than it is with um, Rhea. Honestly, those two names sound so similar, I'm going to get them mixed up half the time. Is a quick cast, it's only one cost. Destroy target damaged resonator, which obviously, hello, Makage dealing damage to things, this works perfectly for this deck. But at the same time, it also kind of works quite well with um, Freyla and Rhea, I think. And it's only a common, which is actually quite nice, because I was worried that maybe this would be another SR um, chant and whatnot, but it is actually really nice. Never show a weakness to the Dark Elves. And her hair is doing some, like, weird mystical thing where it kind of looks like it's lava. It's, it's actually a really nice effect, and I'm loving the artwork in this. Again, the artwork has been super on point in this set. It is actually gorgeous. But anyway, guys, that's been the spoilers for Darkness. I believe we are either going to get spoilers this Friday, or the whole set's going to be um, spoiled or, like, released and whatnot. If it is all release one not I won't be covering that because I want to like Lee I don't want to like cover every single card or whatever um obviously because like there needs to be at least a little bit of surprise especially for when we're doing uh, our box opening which should probably be sometime either next week I believe just depending on when I'll be able to pick up my box it's either next week or the week after I believe but pre-release will be this weekend I will be doing a vlog for pre-release whatever going to my locals for pre-release and stuff like that so I will definitely be vlogging that showing you that video I believe that will be on later on Sunday that video will be out so hopefully you guys can be patient sorry that videos have been a little bit out of whack with the schedule and whatnot just with my new job and everything like that it's kind of hard I've been like trying to like fix my sleep schedule and everything like that I slept so much today this is why the video is late today so my apologies for that but anyway guys that has been the spoilers and I will see all you guys later.